15 years of successful acting career in the Bollywood film industry. Sana Khan, who was in the peak of her time. She had money, name, fame, and everything that she could ask for. But what made this Bollywood actress who had been seen naked, from kissing scene to bad scene, in all sorts of bold scenes in the Bollywood movies, change her mind to become from this to that that shocked everybody in the world including her fans despite having all these privileges what was actually the thing that was missing from her life now let's listen to what she has to say about it in my past life of course uh, i had everything i had name i had fame i had money I could do anything and everything that I wanted but one thing that was missing was peace in my heart you know I was like there's everything but why am I not happy it was very tough and uh, there were days of depression there were days of uh, Allah's message that I could see through uh, his uh, signs I, I always tell people that there was 2019 I still remember during Ramadan I used to see grave in my dream and I used to see a burning, blazing grave in my dream and I used to see myself in that grave. I just didn't see the empty grave, I saw myself and I was like this is the sign that Allah is giving that if I do not change, this is what my end is and you know that is something that got me a uh, little anxiety and I still remember the you know the changes that were happening and one night I used to listen to all the motivational Islamic speeches you know and one night I remember reading something which was so beautiful that uh, they said that when a man dies his janaza is covered in three cloth but when a woman dies her janaza is covered in five cloth and what was the moral of the story of that it's like because Allah doesn't like even a dead woman's body where people can see her shape and also even if you're dead Allah covers your head the women and it was so beautifully written that you don't want to be you don't want your last day to be the first day of your hijab and that is something that uh, <clears throat> touched me so deep I'm sorry sir. you know next morning I remember I woke up and I'm like that was my birthday and I'm like I'm I just removed, I bought a lot of scarves before, you know, I just bought the scarves and then I remember I got up the next morning, I put this cap inside, I wore the scarf and I'm like, I will inshallah never remove this ever again and I'm very happy that, you know, I always wanted to do Hajj but I'm so glad that Allah chose this year for me because I used to come for Umrah before, you know, when I was not changed and I used to do Umrah, I used to wear the hijab here and I used to go back home and I used to remove it. But, you know, I always wanted to do Hajj and I was just telling, you know, my uh, family yesterday that Allah chose such a right time for my Hajj that I've already changed. And Hajj is a huge change in your life, you know. You, you, I might not get this opportunity again in my life, but I'm so happy that I came for Hajj when I changed, I know that now how I am, at least the way I look, I'm not going to go back and remove my abaya and throw it away.